Minister, the Victorian Chief Health Officer Brett Sutton said this afternoon the Victorians are now going to be given instructions on how to make their own cloth masks. And the Deputy Chief Medical Officer says wearing one is advisable now. Do you think it's been a mistake not to have made this policy mandatory and much earlier to avoid lockdown in Victoria? Always, always it's about following the medical advice. And uh, what we've said right from the outset is that we would do that. What the medical advice has been is that uh, if uh, somebody is in close proximity and uh, unable uh, to uh, keep physical distance, then that's an option. And if uh, any state or territory believes that there's a, a local area or the broader state uh, that should either have uh, voluntary but recommended use of masks or mandatory masks, that's been within their power based on the medical conditions right throughout. So the Advice hasn't changed, but the conditions have in Victoria, and if uh, that's what the uh, Victorian Chief uh, Health Officer uh, advises going forward, then that's what the advice is and that's what should happen. In Victoria, the task of manual contact tracing is massive right now. Are you embarrassed that the federal government's COVID app hasn't been of any assistance in this? Uh, well, with respect, that's uh, incorrect on a number of fronts. There are now 6.6 .6 million downloads. It's been used uh, on multiple occasions. Let me, uh, let me just jump uh, in there if I can, Minister. Its purpose was always to assist. The, so the Victorian Chief Health Officer, Brett Sutton, said on the 24th of June, there haven't been new contacts identified through the use of the COVID app. Well, what we've had is the, uh, the use uh, were advised on multiple occasions. And uh, in particular, there have been individual uh, individuals that have been found, or we know of, uh, 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 that that is the case. Uh, what I do want to say is this. It's always part of the broader approach uh, of contact tracing. Contact tracing is one of the four elements of containment. Uh, what we've seen around the country is an extraordinarily effective approach where the app uh, sits beside it. It provides the ability uh, to find those who might otherwise not have been known. And uh, that's the critical thing there. More importantly, what we've done is provide additional resources to Victoria. We've brought in the Deputy Chief Health Officer from Queensland, a former Chief Health Officer from Western Australia, contact tracers from around Australia to assist Victoria. And in particular, we are offering the Australian Defence Force that has been made, and I'm remaking that offer again tonight, to assist okay. with contact tracing. This is about finding people who are at risk of having the disease, finding people who are at risk of spreading the disease. Now, Australia's leading health economist, Stephen Duckett, now says that Australia should switch strategy and pursue elimination, not suppression. Are you starting to think that he's right? No. Uh, look, the particular person you've quoted said uh, in March that we would run out of ventilators within three weeks, uh, and uh, that was... Uh, uh, a wildly incorrect and uh, irresponsible and dangerous statement. So I'm a, a little surprised that of all the people, you choose that person. However, uh, what Steve, we have Steve, done Stephen Duckett is, is one, of, is one country, of the leading health bureaucrats in the country. He, he headed the Commonwealth Department, as you know well. So I guess if you reject that, you're prepared to take the risk of 18 months of possible rolling outbreaks and rolling lockdowns like this. That, that's the risk well, you take. Well, I think with great respect... <clears throat> uh, with great respect, you always want to check the accuracy of uh, recent uh, uh, predictions by a particular source. I'm giving you uh, what was predicted and what actually occurred. But more significantly than that, uh, we've been very realistic. In a global pandemic where there are over 12 million cases and growing, we're over 550,000 lives, we've achieved extraordinary things but we've been honest with the Australian people that there would be outbreaks. Uh, we saw uh, other countries that have uh, made predictions and then had to, to walk back because there have been cases after uh, there have been claims of elimination. What we've done is achieved something in terms of making Australia one of the envies of the world. We've now had an outbreak in Victoria very significantly linked to a, a, a major breach within hotel quarantine and now we are providing that support. But Australia's outcome has been uh, really one of the envies of the world. Now in Victoria, my home state, uh, we know we can do this. We've done it as a country. We have to do it again here. And we're doing it because there was a significant breach and a significant uh, outbreak. But to pretend we can wish the disease away uh, is uh, not a, uh, in my view, realistic or responsible statement that uh, with a... Global pandemic, 
a disease which travels silently, a disease which cannot be uh, seen and in many cases is asymptomatic. We have to be honest and upfront with the Australian people and prepa uh, prepare for the long term. Minister, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks, Virginia. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.